Hey everybody, welcome to another Good E-Reader video. This is Marcus. In today's video, we're going to show you how to copy ebooks that you've downloaded from the internet to your new Barnes & Noble Nook Color. Now, the Nook Color is the recent e-reader that Barnes & Noble just put out a few weeks ago. It's an Android 2.0 driven tablet. It's LCD as opposed to uh, the Nook 3G and the Nook Wi-Fi, which is e-ink. So this is a new way to basically look at magazines, newspapers, children's books, all in full color. You can also surf the internet and uh, do Facebook and Twitter and also those sorts of things in full color. So if you want more of a multimedia e-reader by a company such as Barnes & Noble, which is um, a pretty established bookstore chain in the US, to say the least, we're gonna show you three different ways and these three different ways will encompass using Adobe Digital Editions, which is if you've bought an EPUB book from the Kobo bookstore, the Borders bookstore, or maybe independent bookstores such as Smashwords or iPulp Fiction, if you've bought in books from those, you have to use Adobe Digital Editions. We're also gonna show you how to use a program called Calibre, which is a program used for ebook management swapping cover art, changing author's name, editing ISBN numbers, and so on. We're also going to show you how to use good old Windows Explorer, which is usually the default method that people choose when they copy ebooks to the Barnes & Noble Nook Color. So what we're going to do is now that it's plugged in, one end is plugged into our Nook, and we see the light confirming that, and the other end is on our computer via USB. And uh, we're just going to simply put this down for the moment and uh, open up Calibre. So again, if you want to download Calibre, you can simply Google for it and just download it from any of the main sites. Once you load up Calibre for the first time, you'll see this menu here. But once your Nook's plugged in, you'll notice at the top here a little Nook. So now that we we, we're here, if you want to say add more than one book, you can simply go to add books from a single directory and then navigate your computer, whether the EPUB books are on your desktop, in a specific download directory and so on. So once you've done that, the books will appear here. And if they're appearing here, that means they're already on your Nook. So what we're going to do is now that we've imported a book here, we're just going to merely confirm that it is on our Nook. So we're just going to unplug that for a second. And uh, we have our Nook here. We're just gonna press the arrow button at the bottom and click on My Library. And you can see that the book is here. And uh, yeah, it looks like we can verify that the page turns are okay, the cover art's there, the hypertext links work. So there's really nothing editing-wise we have to do in Calibre because it's a perfect copy of a book. The next way that we're going to show you how to do it is doing it via Windows Explorer. And this is accomplished simply by copy pasting or drag and drop EPUB books directly to your Nook. So we're going to show you how to do that right now. So we're going to plug this in once more. And uh, the light and the USB mode turns on, giving us an indication that it works. So now that we've done that, we're going to close Caliber. Now you notice when you plug in your Nook here, you see an autoplay. And it's going to ask you to open folder to view files. So we're going to do that. Now you see a lot of different directories here. Don't be overwhelmed. You want to click on My Files. Now you see here many different directories from wallpaper to magazines, music, and so on. Now just a quick overview. If you want to copy wallpapers to your Nook to change the background, you can do so provided the picture that you copy is in JPEG, GIF, or PNG format. And that goes the same with pictures, whether you've taken pictures on your family holiday, whether you've taken pictures of your friends, and so on. You can copy pictures and browse them in your Nook. Same with videos, provided they're MPEG-4 format. With music, the Nook tends to like MP3s, but AACs will work as well, and it has a built-in music player. But we're concerned about books, and you can see here that the first book that we copied via Calibre is in here. So we're just going to minimize this and go to our desktop. And the next book that we want to do is The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. So as you can see, we're just dragging and dropping, and you can see the file right there. Alternatively, you can right-click, click Copy, 
and then right click again when you're in your directory here and uh, click paste. Now again we just want to verify that this method was correct so we're going to unplug our Nook again Now we're going to hit the home button, which is uh, the upside down N. Well, it is the N, but it's also the upside down U. We're going to hit this, click library, and then you can see here the last song by Nicholas Sparks. So that's now been uh, copied to our e-reader. And uh, we can simply scroll forward and backwards, and uh, the text is there. So this is the second method. And uh, the third method that we're going to show you is Adobe Digital Editions. Now again, the reason why you would use Adobe Digital Editions is mainly for store-bought content that has DRM, or Digital Rights Management, on it. So these, like if you have a book with digital rights management, that means it's a store-bought book and it won't allow to be really copied with Calibre because it'll say that it is encrypted and with copy pasting, you can't really do that either because they're encrypted books. So you simply want to plug your Nook in and under media, you'll see that the two books I've done uh, so far in this tutorial are there. Now I simply want to click on library, add item to library, and I want to do Save of the Moment by Nora Roberts. Now you can see I've done exactly what you do in Calibre, which is you scroll around and look for the books that you want wherever it is on your computer, and then you click on it and then click open. Now you see it doesn't appear yet here, but what you simply have to do is go to all items, left click on it so you can drag it around, and just simply drag it and drop it in the media folder here. And you see now that it is of course in a media folder, and if it's in this folder, that means that it is now saved to your Nook. Now, you could download Adobe Digital Editions for free off of the internet, so it is a free download, simply Google for it and download it off Adobe's main site. It is compatible with a PC and Mac, so you'd be able to use it no matter what computer uh, you are using. So we're just going to unplug this again and click the upside down U or the N. Click library And we noticed that the book is not actually here. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, did I screw up in the process? Short answer, no. What you have to do is, there's tabs at the top here, so we're under books, and we can click on magazines, newspapers, my shelves. My shelves is useful because you can also customize uh, different shelves. So if you share your e-reader with anybody else, you can actually customize what books show up under your shelf which helps making managing your e-reader more effective. Now we clicked on My Files, and you see here that there's a directory called a Digital Editions. So we're just gonna simply click on that. And you see here, a book that's in here, is Save in the Moment by Nora Roberts. And we can see that the book has been copied over effectively. see that the chapters do work. The book does have cover art. So it looks like we were effective in all three methods of copying ebooks that you've either downloaded from the internet or bought from other stores other than Barnes & Noble store, which of course is your default way of doing business if you want to buy ebooks. So for whatever reason, if you don't want to buy your ebooks from Barnes & Noble, hopefully this tutorial has taught you the various methods that you can employ to copy ebooks to your e-reader. And again, if you want to see more videos on e-readers or the Barnes & Noble Nooks, you can check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash goodyreader and our blog at goodyreader.com slash blog. For Goodyreader, this is Marcus and everybody take care.